Sometimes dreams come true. They come true. Sometimes dreams come true. Yes, they do. Sometimes dreams come true. They come true. Sometimes dreams come true. Yes, they do. We are back. Let me tell you, family, you should be in the studio when we what we do be talk about off camera. This is the got some roots in Tuskegee, all over Alabama, all kinds of alcohol. She just tell me all this kind of stuff. I'm like, wait a second. I'm sitting by, I, I gotta get me an autograph. I gotta get me a picture. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, you know what? This is this is why I love what I do. We are able to bring people to you that you probably won't see in general commercial radio, t you won't see on TV or here in commercial radio, because it's, that's not what they do. But what we do here is you know, expose you to the history of us as a people, not only in the United States, but globally, and connect us, connect the dots. So we're gonna talk to Debra about her music and where it is right now. And you guys need to check her out. We're gonna put her YouTube and her website on the on the thing. Check her out because this sister got some serious stuff in her trunk. <laughs> Lord have mercy in my soul. So um, let's talk about your music. Where are we now? What are you doing? Okay, let's, let's, let's pick it up. There's a lot that we know that you told me, but I want to pick it up. How did you get to Korea to sing? I'm with the McDonald Fest Choir. Okay. Uh, Curtis A. Farrell. Okay. And in September, they had a Peace Starts With Me rally oh. in Madison Square Gardens. Okay. 3,000 voices. Wow. We're there with Hezekiah Walker and Yolanda Adams. Oh, I love you I saw her in St. Lucia, man. She rocks St. Lucia in the rain. Oh, yeah. In the oh, rain, yeah. she just tossed St. Lucia up doing the jazz fest. I love that. Oh, yeah. And so um, not everyone was invited. Mm. And I had an invitation. I had an invitation. I'm getting an autograph. I looked at it, and so I went. You know, mm -hmm. peace starts with me with Curtis Farrell and okay. Hezekiah Walker. Okay. And it was a phenomenal experience. Okay. Phenomenal experience. One of the best of my lifetime. So you got to sing in the choir? Yes. yes. Whoa, she got to sing. It was 23 of us. 23 of you. 23 Rocking from the 3,000. Wow. They were hoping to get 1,000, but it was 23 of us that went. Okay. From all over the United States and other countries. There was a lady there from uh, Thailand. I'm going to say there was a lady there from Thailand. They were from everywhere. Someone that was there from Africa, wow. of the 23. Of the 23? Yes. Wow, that's really cool. So how did that, you know, it's really cool to sing in one country, your home country, but then to leave the country and go somewhere else, and I could say, you know, you're representing God in yes. what you're doing. And how did that feel? Because the reality of it, you're, speak, you're singing in a language, and the people might not understand the language, but they feel the message. Right. So how did that? How did that make you feel when you were out there doing that? Dude, this doing it in Korea, sis. You were. Like, it's, we had it was it, like I said. It was it was awesome. A country because the Korea. people, they just, they say in Korea that they don't stand up. Mm -hmm. They usually just sit down and clap. But okay. they stood. They stood. So that let us oh, you know got, we got, had done something they said had never happened. You just shook them. They, well, they, 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 they couldn't stay in the chair. They got him. Oh, you guys took that Holy Spirit true. over there with you. You guys they, took that they, African they, Holy they, Ghost of you all. It's like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't go there. <laughs> we didn't, we, I don't think we went there. But, you know, we 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 lifted. Oh, you lifted we him lifted. up. Lift we him up lifted. in praise we and song. We lifted in praise. Oh, and they mm. praised him right with us. They, they couldn't stay in the chair. Oh yes, they couldn't stay in the chair. Huh? They're like ooh. <laughs> and you know that's what's so funny because with my new music, okay, um, the label that I'm with, Deja Vu Records. Mm -hmm. The independent company that I work with. Okay. He always talks. Deja, like Deja vu. Deja vu. Deja vu. Like, that, who's who's saying that? That was um. Um. Dion Warren. Dion Warren. Yeah, they, was yeah that's Dion Warren. I could see, I could see her face. Or Randy it. Crawford. It was one of them. Okay. Dion Warren. Or Randy Crawford. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not sure one of them though. I saw I saw Dion Warren singing. That's why I remember Deja vu. Could you be the one? <laughs> it was Dion Warren. Yeah. Okay. And um and they always talk about. Gospel. Okay. So I know I have a heavy gospel in my sound. Okay, cool. You know, it's, mm. yeah, I, I can't get away from it. Church is in me. Church is in you. That's it's good. That's, that's the and good I'm thing. I'm grateful. Hey, you can have a lot of things in you. That's a good thing to have. I'm grateful. Up in there. I'm I'm great. Great. Nothing yeah, like great. having God in you. Because yeah, right. <laughs> He makes it all happen. Get the leg shake. <laughs> get the <that. laughs> God make it all happen. Let the, let the preacher say, let the church say amen. Okay. <laughs> So now, so you're up there in Korea. You do this, you do this, and you come back, and now you are releasing some new music. I um, want to talk about your new music and what you're doing. What you know? Are you going to be on tour in the U.S. soon? Um, 
you know, what's going on with you right now, the new music that's coming out, what's going on with that? Okay, my new song, well, we had one in October, Say mm -hmm. Yes, Take My Hand. Say Yes, Take My Hand. Yes. Okay. And um, the way that it works, I collaborate. They send me a track, mm -hmm. I make it into a song. Okay. It's just music. I have to make the verse, the chorus. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it is give you the it is give you the instruments the instruments and you just put it you put the you you you, you do your I have thing. To create it. She do her thing. I have to create. She make it, it make it into a song. She do her thing. And, <laughs> and say yes, take my hands. It was a challenge. Okay. Because that music, it was to me it was more like a Chicago sound. Okay. Kind of the group Chicago. Okay. And I had to make it into a song. Ooh. And um so let me so ask you yes, a question. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not that type of musician like you. I'm a musician where I listen and I enjoy it. I'm that type of musician. Okay. <laughs> so what process and how long did it take you to do that? Because, you know, some people say, yeah, it takes me a day, a week, or two weeks to put the song together. So what, for you, that song, you said the challenge, how long it took you to put it together? Well, what happened when I wrote the lyrics, I wrote the lyrics to my son. Okay, you wrote okay. the lyrics to your son. Yeah, and he's not my birth son. Okay. Okay. He's ha Haitian. Okay. And, and he got married last year. Okay. And he wouldn't get married without me. Hmm. So I wrote this to he and her. Oh, cool. On the day of their wedding. Wow. So I took the lyrics mm -hmm. from that. Okay. And, and put it to, to the song. song. Yes, That's say yes, cool. take my hands. So that was where my that bass came so, from. That could be a wedding song. In reality, yes. Take my hand, say yes. It's a fall in that's love not, song. That's not, you know, you say that. Take, fall in love. And that's a, that could be, we gotta check that. Hey, if you're getting married soon, you need to check that song. Say it again, what's the name Say of it? yes, take my hand. Is it on YouTube and all that stuff? Yes, we, we it gonna, is. We're gonna play a little bit of that song somewhere in this in this interview. Say yes, take my hand. That yes, sounds, it. that's powerful. Now that you're saying, you give me a little background, I could feel it. Okay. I could feel it. Say yes, See, take my, my hand. Yeah, legs start shaking in that one. <laughs> so that came out in October. So now we're, we're in December, and we're getting ready to end 2017. What else? I, now you had something else that come up recently, right? November, Daddy's Gone Home, that I wrote for my father. Okay. When he passed, my birth father. Okay. I'm lucky I have three fathers. Okay. But um, my birth father, and I wrote that one. Daddy's Gone Home. Daddy's Gone and Home. And that one released, and on that one I'm playing almost everything. Wow, wow. I mean, you know, as I saw listen to you talking, and, and that's one thing about they said, the joke when you say, don't date a musician or a poet because when you break up, they're going to write something about you. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh. my wife's a doctor, so I'm saying, phew. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she get mad at me, she just going to look at me like, yeah. so, okay. Wow, that's interesting. So now you have this new song out. You had the one in October, you had one in November. What are what are we looking at? Are you go, are you on tour soon? Um, let's tell the people how can people find your music? How can people support you? What what can we do to make Debra an everyday name in the household? Okay, well, once my music comes off a of track source, track source with Deja Vu is where they take it for promotion. Okay, and it's a thirty day window. Okay, after that month, then it goes. So to track all source of the is where. So so the first one. Take my hand, say yes. She is off track source now because that's, that's not. It's still on track source. Okay. You can purchase it on track source, but you should be able to get it now from Amazon. It should be on Spotify, okay. um, Google, okay. on all, okay. all digital. So downloads. people could just Google your name or put you in, in the search and find your stuff. Shit. Okay, so let's do this. Let's tell them because your name got that unique stuff in it. I mean, she reached out. No, you got to put the apostrophe in there. Do this, do that. No, it's not that. So how do people find you? Let's tell them how to find you correctly. I want to find you. Okay. Not somebody else. Okay, yes. No million for million stuff here. Is D <laughs> apostrophe B R A. Okay. Debra okay. Powell. Okay, so D apostrophe B R A. Yes. And then the last name Powell. Yes. P O W E L L E L. Yes. No, E L L. Yes. E L L. P O W E L L. Okay. Yes. Okay. So family got find them. Yes. So What's going on? Are you in concert soon? Now you now that you you know been all over you've been to the other side of the planet to Korea and you're back on this side of the planet and it's like holiday season. What are you doing? Is there anything coming up soon? I mean in two months is Black History Month and then we have you know we have Women's History Month in March. So what's going on, Debra? We are in the midst now of creating my calendar. Okay. Um for my tour for next year. Okay. Um I am 
Um, she but, might but, come to St. Lucia. I'd love to. <laughs> I plan to be. I would. Um, I'm, I'm in the studio this month. Okay. I have four singles to finish. I'm redoing a song for Antonella Ferrari by Jocelyn Brown. I'm remaking it. Okay. Um, and then I have three more that I'm writing. Wow. One for a Jap for a, a producer in Japan. Okay. And one for a group in, in Italy. Japan. In Italy. And then oh, with um, Yo Yo. I might not Deja be able to fly. We can, I don't know if we could afford you in St. Lucia, girl. You all over the world. You yeah. in Japan, yeah. you in Italy. I'm like, oh boy. But you know, the, the, the good thing is with my writings, with the collaborations here, they are in the dance music, but I get to put my style, my soul in it, mm. in the collaboration which gives it another twist mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. you know? And like with Daddy's Gone Home, when your parent leaves, mm -hmm. it's sad. Mm -hmm. Now, you know she's a musician, but I'm looking at her, she, her chain, she has a little music symbol on her chain and stuff. That's why I said, she's a musician. She is one, everyone to know she's she walking down the street. <laughs> oh, that's a musician. Because you don't wear that you're not a musician. I won't wear it. Because <laughs> someone's going to say, sing. You know what I say, sing me something. Like, I'm like, oh. <laughs> So okay. she, can wear, she can wear it because she starts singing and then she have a concert in the park like that. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. And so, um, you know, so for me, for Daddy's Gone mm -hmm. Home, it was joy, pain, mm -hmm. but joy. Mm -hmm. awesome. So putting it in an up temple, you can feel the pain, yeah. but you can hear the joy. I understand. Uh, I understand that very much because I always tell people everything I do with Piff in St. Lucia is in memory of my mom because if my mom didn't go back to St. Lucia in 1998, I would never have went back. Wow. She retired and she moved back home. When she moved back home, I went with her to help establish her stuff. And I reached out to a good friend, Jerry George, who then introduced me to some young people in St. Lucia. Okay. So in 1998, my reintroduction to my homeland started. I always knew about St. Lucia, but I used to just go high and go back home. But in 1998, when my mom made that transition, so so every time I see Piff, I think my mom. I know that's right. So whenever I go to St. Lucia, like even my wife and people know when I go when I travel up north, the first place I stop is the cemetery to pray at her. Tomb. I know that's right. So it's just like so I, when you say about that that song of your dad, I just, I know what you mean because that's my thing with Piff. Yeah. And so yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, it was. It was probably the worst day of one of the worst days of my lifetime when he left. Mm. But um, like I said, you know, he was here 79 years. Wow. And so we know that it's inevitable. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, what a way, you know, when God gave it to me, he turned, I took the negative mm -hmm. from the pain mm -hmm. and made it joy. Yeah, yeah. Releasing. And, and that helps other so people he's gone too. Home. And that will help other people hear that song. That will help them release because sometimes we need that little click to make us yes. release something, and that it could be a song. We hear a song, and those of us, you know, how many of us have songs that when we hear that song, it reminds us of something. It makes you feel good and say like, "Oh man!" And sometimes when you when you're not feeling good, you wake up in the morning and say, "I gotta get my song going. I gotta yes. get this song get me going." No, how, yes. many, how many of us have those songs? No, okay. that get, we got that song to get you going. That song to chill you out. Oh yeah. You know, so we have it. Yes. We all have it, so yes. I, I do understand what you're saying about that song, and that song could be mean could mean so much to other. But when you talk about the first song, "Take My Hand," say yes, I didn't think about it until you said it. it's, a, it's a wedding song. It's like oh, and then you think about the action you do at a wedding. One of the actions that takes place is a wedding. Yes. So yeah, definitely. So now that we know that, so you you're in the process of putting your 2018 calendar together. Yes. So how? Do we keep up with you so that way we know where you're gonna be? So, is there like a do you have a mailing list? Do you have a follow me page? Or how can people keep up with um, Instagram or Twitter? How can people keep up with you so when you so when your calendar come out, they can find you? Okay, well, I do post on Facebook. Okay, um, Deeper Powell, mm -hmm. and that's deeper. The D apostrophe B R A B R A. Um, also, I do post on Twitter. And on Instagram, on Instagram, I'm Mika. Mika, spelled that. M I C A. M I C A. That's Mika. your Instagram. Mika. Yes. Okay. Mika. Um, and also, I post on um, my artist card. Okay. I put I, I put put my current things. I I try to. Okay. I try. I prefer a mailing list. Okay. You know, a lot a lot of things I have um, 
emails. Mm -hmm. So if I can put my, can I give them my email? Oh, sure. sure. Well, you know, put, you it, put out what you want to find. Email, we got, you, and, I know um, you're not trying to hide. You're trying to get out there. So <laughs> we, need to, we need to find her. So, you know, my email is um, veron2 at aol.com, okay. which is V as in Victor, E. Every, R. Red, R. Red, O. Orange, and Nancy, mm -hmm. the number two, number two. at aol.com. And we're going to put it at the bottom of the screen so if we'll be able to get it off the screen also because um, those of you who know me know the thing about for what I do with my company, UCCI, is that we expose people doing positive things in our global community as we do stuff in Botswana, South Africa, and stuff like that, and here in the U.S. and in the Caribbean. So I asked her, I met her through a good friend of my friend, a good friend named John Wade. If he's watching this, hey, John, thank hey you John. so much. Hey, John. <laughs> hey, John. <laughs> so, you know, we, um, I think, and, and I network with people, and I, I asked her to come in to do this interview because the reality of it is people who know me who don't know her, and there's people who know her who don't know me. So now that we come together, we make our, we make our circle stronger and bigger, and that's what networking is about. So I need you all to check her out, send her high on Facebook, look, at her, look her up. And you know, and if you're looking to do a concert, you know, wait a minute, are you for hire? Yes. So, yes. so like, if I'm doing, let's, let's give a scenario. So let's see, summer's coming soon, Memorial Day weekend, all that summer stuff. So if I'm doing a concert and I'm looking for someone who's a good singer, maybe gospel singer. Can I say gospel? I, I do gospel. I do jazz. Do I do rhythm and blues. I do dance music. Oh. I, do, I do it all. You do it all. So, I do it all. So if you're looking for someone who does it all and you want to talk to her and you want her to do a particular genre, you need to reach out to her because. As we practice um, Ujima, collective work and responsibility, and as we practice Ujama, cooperative economics, it is going to be on, upon us to bring the people in that we want to empower with our, with our natural gifts. So, you know, you're in the community, and you know, you know what I do. You guys know me already. I'm going to blow her up. So we're going to have a, we're going to try, try to get her down here to Philly, maybe do some little, a person, a, a con hey, you know what, we might get her to do a concert here for us at, at PIP headquarters. Because Sherman Dukes Bryce is doing one next month when he comes in for Grammy, for the Grammys. We're going to try to get Deeper back down here and do something for us. So you never know. So keep in touch with her. Keep in touch with us. So before we say goodbye to you, good day, what, do, what would you like to tell the people? Anything in closer? Remember to follow your dreams. Mm. My song, Dream Come True. Who would have thought that that would have been a song that came to me mm. for me to start again with my second career? Wow. Dreams come true. Because they do. I can say they do. Mm -hmm. Well, to the young people who are watching us, remember your dreams do come true. And to the older, to the more seasoned people who are following us right now, it's never too late to follow your dreams. Yes, yes. I know Kentucky Fried Chicken, he started when he was much older. He, was mm -hmm. the, he wasn't a young chicken yeah, right? when he started. Right, with okay. the beard. Yeah. <laughs> so you know what? Follow your dreams, people. You never know. So as we say good day to day, we say good day to you um, from PIF headquarters, world headquarters here in Philadelphia. I'd like to thank you all for tuning in. Please tell your friends what we're doing. And if you're coming to, if you're an artist doing positive things with your God-given talents, and you're coming to Philadelphia, check us out. We'd love to sit down with you, do an interview with you, and expose you to our global network that we, um, all, our global network. We thank you so much for spending some time with us today. I am Ed Omoja Herman, your host and the founder and the president of the Pitoa International Film Festival. My special guest is Miss Debra Powell, and we look forward to seeing you guys around. So God bless. Stick and stay. Thank you, Ed. Thank you, baby. Give me an autograph. <laughs>